when you saw, when was the first time that like you went out with them mm -hmm. and people were just, <laughs> well, um, it, it, when, how, because let me, let me, I'll just put it out there. Yeah. Listen, I'm not anywhere near your son's star power. Okay. I've been to restaurants with my wife and kids yeah. and women just walk out the blue and like, Oh, Garrett. So yeah. I can only imagine yeah. when you have the, this level, yeah. what was that like? Uh, it was pretty shocking. I think, um, I don't even think he understood himself. Cause like I said, he was locked up when he got famous, he was mm -hmm. locked up in jail for a year, he got out in 2017. And we decided that we're going to do this pop-up concert in one day mm -hmm. down in Wynwood. That shit was crazy. I've never seen anything like it. They literally had to shut it down because there's kids in the street and um I couldn't get to the car. It was it was so Back bad. You knew, right? Yeah, it was so bad. When I finally got to my car, the ki kids were like shaking the car. The police had to come and like take him out and put him in the middle in, of two cop cars and escort him and I had to go pick him up from the police station. People thought he was being arrested again, but it was just unsafe. It was unsafe. It was right? unsafe, yeah. And that's when I knew. And then when I realized he really made it is we went to Boca Mall and we were in Gucci. Mm -hmm. And I'll never forget it. Within, I don't know how the fuck these kids found out that he was there. They had to close the doors in Gucci. And I never knew that they had like back doors that you can lead through to come out like hallways in between mm -hmm. the walls to get out to the, you know, outside until that day. Is that the day you started getting security for him or something like that? Bodyguard? Um, I always told him that um, he should have security. Mm -hmm. He was more so on me having security, which is weird. I can understand that. Yeah. I can't 100%. Yeah, he... he but he know. never had security himself? Yeah, he he, ha he would have mm -hmm. security sometimes um, when he's going to like big shows or, mm -hmm. you know, certain things. But he, I think part of him wanted to be a, a, a regular person, too. So he would want to run errands and do this stuff around town. And I'm like, bro, you, you, you can't do that. But his thing was, you know, um, you need to have security. I'm like, I, I'm not famous. Like, why? Why do I need to have security? But he was hell bent on me having security, Did you which, which is weird. Listen, I didn't have a choice. <laughs> like the, he would have the security guard at my door every morning at six o'clock sitting out there waiting. Whatever errand she got to run, if she got to go to the grocery store, get her hair done, like he's he's just ordered to be there. Whether I liked it or not. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So so he's a Debo type. You're doing his way or the highway, right? With certain things. Mm -hmm. He was I don't know. Was he soft with anywhere except you? Soft with anyone? Except you. I think he, he had his he had his, his time because he, he was also very um very giving always wanted to do um help people he did a lot of shit behind the scenes that he never um, publicized was he materialistic no not at all not at all it's the craziest thing he didn't care about money at all never he would wear um toms I think they're called um wear the same clothes two three times for the day, like three days in a row um never really cared about jewelry or anything like that. So he would never be the Rolexes? None of that shit. In fact, AP. the necklace that he had on mm -hmm. that day that they tried to rob him, I gifted him that necklace because I was just like, like, you need to get something nice. Like, you're a superstar. Mm -hmm. There you go. Like, she wants to put some Yeah. Gold on. I'm I like, you. you know, like, you, you, you're a superstar. You do so much for everybody. You don't even have a nice necklace or whatever. So I gifted it to him and yeah. Let's go back to the day he, um, passed away mm -hmm. when you heard the news yeah obviously you're saddened um how quick did it take you to think well he said he was going to make it to 21 how quick did that hit you man honestly it didn't hit me at all because i was just in fucking shock like I was just like, wait, what? Like, even when the police told me, like, he expired, which was, he was so callous. They said what? He expired. He was so callous when he, um, a when he cop came, told, you told me that he expired. expired. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're a piece of garbage. Yeah. That was. Yeah. He uh, was how, like, how, oh, he you, expired. I'm like, I'm like, what? What do you, what do you, what do you mean? But then after that, like, I, I really believe now in out of body experiences. I've always heard people say it, especially in court. And I'm like, yeah, right. Like. No, I had that for real. I went through that for real, out of body experience, like completely, like zombie gone, completely. When did you start putting together? He said, "Oh, I won't be here at twenty one." 
Um, I think I was so grief stricken for a while that um, maybe I start really thinking about that type of shit. Mm -hmm. Eight months into a year down the line. Is that when you start getting into numerology? Yeah, too? yeah. I started being. I, I I started like trying to figure him out and trying to see if there's a way that I can contact him. Like, it's weird. I started seeing all these spirit boxes on YouTube and people. Yeah. One of them, I actually heard his fucking voice. It sounded like his voice. I don't know if they're playing or how they I, did it. I'd be very careful with gypsies. Yeah, I'd no. I, I mean, I haven't reached out to anyone, them. but I just, you know, was like listening to that type of stuff. and. You're in grief. You didn't know what to do. You're listening to crazy ideas, right? Yeah, but but he's he also um, he also was giving me like crazy signs, like uh a week after he passed away and I, I wasn't able to see him for a whole week because his head was swollen right and they said that they can't let me see him like that what yeah his head was swollen they wouldn't let me see him um so a week later when i finally went to see him um i think he followed his spirit followed me home or something because i smelt so what they did how they embalmed him or they did something where they able to put him in a wall and he doesn't rot right you dehydrate but you don't rot so if we should pull him out right now, he would look, he would have everything intact. Um, but whatever process they use, whatever chemicals, I smelt it the whole day in the house, in the house. And then a few days later, he turned the light off on me in his room. I was in his room, in his bed, and the lights start dimming until it turns off. And I sat up like a fucking zombie, like, what just happened? Cause I got scared for a minute. I was going to run. And then I'm like, it's him trying to, you know, and then the light, it came back on and slowly went back to where it was. Um, do you, you believe in that kind of stuff? I mean, have you ever it, seen anything yes, like that? Yes. Yeah. Um, but you know, there's the logical side to me. Yeah. And there's the other side, like, was the power out? In no, the rest of the house. That's the, those are. It's a maestro like, switch. You have to tap it for mm -hmm. it to even get to like mm -hmm. it dims or you know it's like have how. Have you had any other experiences like that? Um, I've had a heart in the sky that's on my Instagram. A fucking heart in the sky. What about on his birthdays? Do you, do did you maybe uh, any type of messages? On his birthday? Nothing on the birthday, but on the, the death day, day, day. On the death day. Death day. Uh -huh. I have it. I have the video. I can show you right now on uh -huh. my phone. June 18th, exactly a year after he passed mm -hmm. away, I had a double rainbow outside and it landed on my house. You know, usually you can go to the back of the house and see where the end is. Mm -hmm. It was on top of my house. Double rainbow. Any doubt that's him? Of course, 100% that's him. 100%. And I also um, felt him sit on my bed one night when I was sleeping. Uh -huh. I felt the bed just like, you know when someone sit on a bed? Uh -huh. I felt that. And then I also have a video on my phone. A friend of mine bought me um, one of those um, bears, the Builder Bear, mm -hmm. and she put a voice box in the Builder Bear. She was able to extract his voice some kind of way, and it says, I love my mom to death. She's the apple of my eye, because he did an interview where he says that, right? So she pulled that part, and she put it in the bear. And one day, I was getting a massage in the room, and the fucking bear, you have to squeeze it, by the way, for it to talk. Mm -hmm. The fucking bear starts talking on its own, and I was able to capture that on on um, my phone. So he's definitely sending you messages. He's sending me messages. Knowing what you know about your son, was this his whole plan from the very beginning? A hundred percent. He wanted 100%. to get martyred. He wanted, uh, because I, I looked at the day he died, um, June 18th, and I looked throughout history, mm -hmm. and there's a history of uh, revolutions, uh, one in Egypt mm -hmm. that happened on that day, not the same year on that day. So, um, I'm thinking that if he knew that he could tap into that energy, mm -hmm. maybe that's the day he chose to go because he would know that his energy would be connected with revolutionary energy. Yeah. Does that make sense to it you? It makes sense, 100%. There is a song on the last album that he actually curated, mm -hmm. and um, it's called Train Food. You need to listen to that song. He's, he basically describes the day he dies. Um, he says, uh, I think he said, I was dressed for winter weather, but the summer rays was kissing me, right? He died June 18, was the peak of summer. Kids were just about to get out of school. He had on a, a, a hoodie with mm -hmm. a Gucci jacket on, and, and he spoke about seeing his killers in the song. He spoke about, um, you know, you could have had a son or, or, or a daughter. He, sp he spoke about dying that day 
in in that song. It's eerie. I've uh, heard similar experiences from similar 33s. Yeah. Um, obviously through their relatives and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, some have told me themselves. Um, when I look at 33s, and I'm a 33 as well, I know the main objective is of 33s to influence the world in some way, somehow. Right. Um, whether it be Albert Einstein with nuclear energy, um, wh whether it be the Wright brothers with flight. Yeah. You know, could you imagine where we'd be right now if we didn't have airplanes? Uh, electricity with, um, uh, damn it. Tesla? Te no, no, Tesla's a nine life path. Mm. Um, Edison. Edison. Edison's the 33 that did gotcha. the, um, but if you know Tesla's 369, mm -hmm. that actually is a 33. It's a hidden 33. No one's ever going to figure it out. But it, it, 369 yeah. is a hidden 33, I can assure you. Um, when I look at Jesus, mm -hmm. if he existed, which most people believe he did, yeah. he died at what age? 33. So mm -hmm. when you have that energy, um, you're able to change the world. Yeah, and I'm not saying every 33 is gonna change the world, so don't don't even start people who are listening. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The point is, a high percentage of 33s yeah. will do their thing in whatever their chosen field is, My, whether it be numerology, astrology with me, or R and B, rap, or music with somebody else. The 33s will always find a way to get things done. 